Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about pure components. So, pure components is basically a feature of React library, and you can use this feature only in class components. So, if you want to use a similar feature in a functional component, then you need to use use memo, and this is a hook. And I will cover use memo topic in a next video right so now let's start with the this video with the points we will learn what is pure components as in theoretical part then uh, we will learn that how we can use them with example and uh, we will use pure components with a state as well as a props and for props we need to make a child component also and uh, after uh, that example i will ask you a question you're going to attempt this question in a comment box and uh, I will provide you the answer of my previous video's question also and this is my Instagram account if you just want to join on me on Insta. So the first question is what is pure components. So pure components is basically a feature of React.js that can help you to improve your project or uh, application performance. How? So let's say you have a state like name right and on a button click you are updating this state but with the same name previously the state name is like anil and again after just uh, uh, updating the state the name is again anil by default react will re-render the component every time whenever you will uh, just uh, update any state and it does not match that previous state value and the updated state value is same or not right that's why if the name is same the state uh, component will update again and again and it will just reduce your performance in pure components it will check that the previous state value and the uh, updated state value is same then it will stop re-rendering right and uh, if the value are different then it will basically re-render your component that's why it will just uh, stop your unwanted re-rendering and improve your performance so now let's uh, check out all this concept with the example so as i told you we need a class component for that so let's convert your app component to the class component right so just write here class app extends first of all i will just show you the problem and then i will use a pure component and i will tell you the solution of that problem so that you can just understand it better right so extend a uh, react.component right and uh, we can use this uh, return statement inside render function because this is a class component right and uh, here you can see that the output still same there is a no, di no difference so now let's uh, create a state here so that let's define a constructor use super then we can define this dot state and uh, just put here a uh, count and count value is let's say by default one right after that you can just print this count here with this dot state dot count right and uh, here you can see that this is perfectly working now let's define a button and uh, just write here update count and on button click let's update this count on click right and uh, now with the arrow function just use here this dot set state count and the count can be increased by one so that what we can do we can just get the current value of state this dot state dot count plus one right and uh, I'm just going to break uh, this button to the lines so that you can just uh, catch catch it in a better way so now whenever we will click on you can see that state value is increasing that's great so no issue so I'm just going to make a console inside uh, render console dot one and uh, just write here re-render right re-render we can put here and now you will just see that whenever our state is updating our component is, is re-rendering and that's perfectly fine because our state is actually uh, have a new value after updating so we must have to update your render function that's okay there is no problem 
but let's say our value is same in every time so let i'm just going to put here a uh, value 10 right and uh, whenever i will click on first time this will updating because value is updated here but again if i'm just going to click on it even my value is same 10 but uh, because i am trying to update my state on a button click that's why it will just re-render this component again and again right and this is not a good way because if we have a big component then um, it can be take lots of time and uh, uh, might be perform your uh, 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 decrease your performance of your application right so what we can do it for that we can use here react dot pure components right and uh, now you will just find it will only re-render your component whenever value is actually updated right so it will just update the first time because value is changed here and then now it will stop uh, not going to re-render your component because value is actually not changing right and this is due to the pure component that's all for this for that a uh, state so there is a one more way to use a state uh, use a pure component you can just import from a react like this right and still it will work same all right so now with that way we are actually okay so how we get to know that uh, every time it will re-render or not for that you can just check that this dot state dot count and plus one now we know the value will be changed on uh, every click so it will re-render again and again right because this value is changing every time so we have this re-render console so that's great we just learned that how state uh, pure component will work with the state so now let's check pro pure components with the probes right so what i'm just going to do i'm just going to make a one more component uh, let's say my component is uh, counter dot js right and uh, i don't need here uh, what this uh, one because we will use this pure component inside a child component so i'm removing it from here so that you will you should not be confused component react dot component don't need this one also now everything is great right and uh, let's uh, just make a class component here so just import react from react class counter extends and uh, just simply put here a uh, constructor okay so I must have to just write here extend react dot component right that's fine so just write here constructor and uh, we need to just write here a uh, render inside that we, that we can return something and for a moment i will return a div a h1 tag and just write here a user component this is not user component this is counter component right and now export default counter right and uh, we can just define here a super again and we don't need to define okay so we don't need this constructor because we are not defining state and all right so we can just simply put here this dot props dot count right because uh, we will get this count value as in props here so just import it here import um, counter from counter and replace this line with the counter now right like this and just uh, use here account and pass the state with it this dot state dot uh, count and now let's see what we are getting here we have one inside our counter component right because uh, the by default value is already one so whenever okay so i would just want to make here a uh, console dot one 
and just simply put here app mm, counter pre-render right and you will see that whenever i will just click on it our counter is re-rendering because value is changed for a props right because we are getting this count as in props so that's okay but uh, there is again have the same issue if i am uh, just uh, putting the same value for uh, re-rendering let's say i'm just going to put here five right for count value at every time right first time it will just go for five again it will just updating the same value but our child component is re-rendering again and again here right because this is not a pure component right so how we can stop this extra re-rendering with a similar way we can just simply use here react dot pure component right and uh, now whenever you will just uh, make your first count it will re-render because we just updated the value from 1 to 5 but now the value will be same 5 to 5 so it will not going to update here right but uh, that's all how actually react component is work for verification that uh, it will just work whenever we have a correct updated value or not then we can just use here dot count plus 1 now it will update every time because we our props is actually updating every time here you can see that three four every time right so this is the way that how we can use a pure component if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in last video uh, i basically asked that uh, can we pass our super child data to the super parent component with the help of uh, uh, function as and props yes we can do there is a no doubt as we are sending the data from child to parent uh, with a similar way we can just send the data from super child to super parent also so yes there is some other way also you can use a context api as well as you can use the redux recall api so there is a lots of way so and uh, for that video i have a question that uh, so let's say you just want to use the pure component feature inside a functional component so what should we have to use here right and how we can use so if you just want to answer then you can put me in the comment box again thanks for watching this video bye bye